What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy After Effects tutorial. Now in today's tutorial we'll be going over how to make this glassy effect in After Effects over your footage. So on your footage you can see the glassy looking stuff goes over this beautiful pug and goes away. Really simple, quick and dirty, nothing too hard. You see it a lot in templates. So, should be kind of cool to know how it's basically made. So what we're going to do is go and just delete all these compositions. We don't need them anymore. Delete this, delete this, and now we're starting with a blank slate. So we just got some footage here of a pug. We all know I love my pugs, so no big deal. But the first step is you're going to create a new composition or, you know, drag in footage to your current composition. And then, so what you're going to do, first step, well, whatever step we're on now, it's okay. You're going to take your footage and pre-compose it. So right click pre-compose, name it, I don't know, pug comp, doesn't matter, click OK. And then after that, you're going to duplicate your composition. So, so Command D on your keyboard while your composition is selected, it will duplicate your composition. And then, next step, we're going to scale up our footage a little bit and we're going to draw a mask on it. So jump in your timeline some, grab your pen tool, Make sure your footage is selected with your pen tool and draw a mask on. Just like that. Cool. So as you can see, we've already got this like zoomed in effect in the middle. Let's just click off real quick so we can see. This weird zoomed in effect. Uh, effect. So if you click this little button right here, quick tip, it turns on your like mask lines. So like you can see the lines of the mask. If you're if those are annoying to you. You can turn them off very simply with that. Cool, huh? Now, next step, we're gonna tag down in the uh, layer properties, then tag down on the mask, tag down again on mask one, and we're gonna make this thing move across the screen. So first, we're gonna just take the mask, so highlight you know, every point and move it off screen. Then click the little stopwatch right here to create a keyframe. Move down on your timeline. I don't know, six seconds is fine. And we'll move the entire mask over to the other side. So it's actually going across the screen. And to make that a little better, what we'll do is we'll right click keyframe assistant, ease out on the first keyframe, right click keyframe assistant, ease in on the second one. And to give this, you know, movement, it's gonna be kind of weird and kind of slow. See, boring, slow. We're gonna go into the graph editor. So click on your layer or highlight your keyframes. Click the graph editor. Jump into this. Click your, you know, your arc. This is your edit speed graph right now if you're not already seeing it. Um, and just grab these handles and move them in like this. So when we play this back, it'll be, you know, It'll just kind of fly across the screen in a much cooler way. Just like that. Really simple and easy. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the composition again, the bottom composition. And we'll hide this one for now. We'll also scale this up even more. Maybe move it down some. Doesn't really matter. We'll draw another mask on this composition. Let's make it a smaller one this time. Same as before. Drop down your tag and your mask. Um, grab all the points on the mask, move it off screen, keyframe it, go down your timeline, move it across. We'll make this one kind of like start in the middle, end in the middle kind of thing. So right click, keyframe assistant, ease out, ease in, graph edit that bad boy. Now I do have other solutions to not use the graph editor because it can be kind of annoying, but I know that using the graph editor is good practice and it's good to understand it. That's why I try to show it to everybody. And then we'll click play. And let's unhide this. Just like that. Pretty cool. Let's move this composition onto the top of everything. So the skinnier mask is on top. What's really cool is if you drop down into your mask properties on your layer two, which is the fatter layer that we created, and go to subtract on your mask, it's going to be the opposite of 
what we see, which is kind of cool. We can just go to add, keep it that way for now. Hit play, see what it looks like. Pretty neat. And I think the last step is going to be something really simple. We'll drag this down, effects and presets. We're going to type Gaussian blur, drop it on the, you know, layer two, which we've created the fatter mask. We'll blur it up a little bit, just like that. We'll copy this, paste it onto our top layer, so that's also blurred. And we'll play it back, and we're just about done. Just like that. No big deal. So, that's how you uh, make the glassy effect on your footage. Really simple, quick and dirty, nothing too complicated. As always, please like and subscribe. I hope this helps. Feel free to leave a comment, ask me a question, and I'll do my best to help out. As always, thanks guys. Take it easy. Peace.